All right, we are back. We're going to show you guys um, start above the engine. And we got the bolts tightened down. We got Loctite put on them. Um, I did the back three. The This one over here on the right side, the rear, I wasn't able to get to. I'd have to take the deck off the mower. So I figured tighten three of them up really good. With Loctite, should be good to go. So we're going to go ahead and give her a start up for the first time with all the bolts tightened with the Loctite. And we're going to see if the engine vibrates and if it makes the same noise as before, or if we fix the issue. So let's go ahead and give her a rip. So it looks like we've completely fixed the issue. As you see, the engine is no longer vibrating. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the engine off, and we're gonna see if it moves at all or not, and then we're gonna start it back up and see if it does it again. You guys saw what it was in the beginning of the first video, so this is pretty much how it should be, normal with no engine vibration or shake, with the engine properly bolted and torqued down to the spec um, with Loctite thread locker on the bolt. So we'll shut her off and see. Perfectly normal. The engine didn't vibrate or rattle like it did in the beginning, also known as a knock. We'll go ahead and start it back up. So that's going to be a video on how you fix a uh, loose engine slash engine knock if you see the engine visibly moving on the tractor um, that's going to go ahead and tell you that your engine is pretty much just loose um, this machine i picked up for 150 dollars um, as is more or less the lady thought it needed an entire new engine um, like i said previously that was not the case um, so i got this mower that runs cuts drives mows everything um, the two only two issues with it that when she sold it to me were the issue that we just repaired here, these four bolts, one here, 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 and here, that were loose. They had a lot of grease on them. They weren't torqued down. Um, and because they had the grease on them, when I tightened them down, they just kept loosening back up. So took them out, cleaned them up, got thread locker on there, torqued them all down to spec, good to go. The other issue that this mower had when I got it is that it was leaking oil out of the gasket for the front uh, manifold here. This intake manifold or whatever, the gasket was leaking oil down on the muffler and it was smoking pretty bad so it pretty much smoked continuously i just tightened those all down in in the star configuration pretty much how you tighten lug nuts down completely stopped the oil leak so this mower is completely 100 percent fixed and was acquired for 150 dollars so usually that's uh this brand and in this condition that works often runs six to eight hundred dollars used um, depending on certain very you know variables and stuff like that depending on where you live but for the most part that's how you fix a, a mower you get off marketplace for 150 bucks and now you have a perfectly working mower with no issues at all that um, will pretty much take care of you as long as you take care of it so just be, be sure to make sure you got them the bolts torqued on properly do not use an impact just do them by hand don't try to use a 3 8 ratchet. I tried doing that initially. I tightened them all up without Loctite, um, just by hand, and they came loose again in a couple days. So use a half inch um, drive on your ratchet. Just do them by hand, torque them to spec, use some Loctite, and you guys will be good to go. So that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. We got firewood out, drying in the sun. We got the kids in the pool, having a good time. Enjoying the nice summer weather. Finally got my vehicle back today. Very excited about that. Brand new back window after I blew it out with a rock uh, mowing the lawn. And then I hit a deer in the front. So the whole front grill and everything just got replaced. The whole front bumper got repainted. So very happy to have that back. Looks like Bailey's over here looking for something to find to, to get. What you doing, Bailey? What are you doing, Bailey? Huh? Are you looking for stuff? Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? You get that sniffer. He's always sniffing stuff. Trying to find chipmunks? Huh?
A squirrel? A squirrel? Hope everyone's having a great day. We're gonna get some firewood done soon here. We're just getting a few things wrapped up around the house here. We need to get more wood yarded up here. I want four to five times this amount right here before we start processing. I'm tired of processing small amounts. Um, it doesn't really get me anywhere. So I'm realizing that if I harvest um, two to three face cords, if not more of just rounds like this, and then have one day where I split all of them together at one day, it just makes it easier. And then we stack it the same day and then we wait, let, wait, let it dry. A couple more days, we come back and then we, uh, we bundle it up. But as you see, most of all this wood is already dry or, you know, in the process of drying, all of it's got splits down it. it most of it was dead standing, all ash. Emerald ash borer, unfortunately, has taken out most of it. The stuff down here is pretty well rotted and dry. Uh, I'm gonna try splitting some of it, but I don't know if it's gonna really split very well. Uh, I think this is gonna be more for the personal uh, fireplace because it's kind of, you know, rotted, decayed, not really worth selling. I do have some really nice uh, rounds back here though that are solid that my splitter wasn't able to get through last time. And then of course we have the Husqvarna push mower that we got for free that fires up pretty much on the first or second pull now with no issue and uh, runs great. So uh, yeah, I wanna thank everyone for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. I got more content coming out soon. You know what, what brand we like and what we do around here, Firewood and Husqvarna. That's pretty much the sum of it. Everyone, take it easy.